disregard. Another court case, Peter Philip Skitt and Peter Duervar have been found guilty of murdering Matlomo Lamaswe. Yes, indeed. Uh, they're accused of, they were accused of uh, uh, killing 15-year-old Matlomola Musweu in Kalini in April last year in the Northwest High Court in Mahikeng. The duo uh, maintained their innocence, uh, saying that the teenager uh, had jumped off their bike on the way to the police station after uh, apprehending him um, for having allegedly stolen some sunflower. For more on uh, this judgment, we're now joined by our reporter, Nicolene Small. Uh, Nicolene, thanks very much indeed. Uh, much awaited uh, uh, judgment and uh, final sentencing. Uh, take us through what the judge said and uh, what this means. Uh, good afternoon. Yes, from the Northwest High Court here in Mafeking. We spent the entire morning listening to Judge Hendrick, uh, uh, Ronald Hendricks as he basically summarized a testimony that had been given in this trial which had commenced in, in March. Um, he finally came to the gist of his verdict by about uh, 3 o'clock this afternoon and he found the two accused, uh, Philip Skitter and Peter Duerewaard, uh, guilty of the following charges, murder, intimidation, kidnapping, the pointing of a firearm and theft. He relied heavily on the evidence given by the one and only state witness, Bonakele Pakisi, who testified that he saw Matlomola being thrown by one of the accused from a moving vehicle. He said that the few discrepancies in uh, Bonakele Pakisi's statements uh, to the police and his testimony in court were not material. In other words, it would not otherwise affect the outcome of the case. So he agreed with the testimony given by Bonakele and ruled that yes, indeed the two were guilty of murder. I am joined uh, uh, by the state prosecutor in this case, uh, Advocate uh, uh, Rapula Mulefe, as well as the investigating officer in the case, Lieutenant Colonel Pietrus Nkosi. Uh, Advocate Mulefe is quite pleased uh, uh, with the outcome of the verdict. Uh, Advocate, could you please elaborate for us your, or summarize your feelings? Right. As the prosecution and the investigating team, we have decided to prepare the following statement regarding what happened today in court. I read the statement. We are happy about the court's judgment. It was penetrating, well-reasoned, and cautious. We await the sentencing stage tomorrow. That is our statement. Thank you. That was the state prosecutor in this murder trial of, of Philip Skitter and Peter Duerewart, advocate Rapula Mulefe. If I could add a final word, uh, Judge Hendricks further had harsh words uh, for the two accused uh, uh, in the handing down of his, of his judgment, saying that they actually had very little uh, regard for, for the safety of the 15-year-old Matlomola, and he even described their attempts uh, to get help uh, for this critically injured teenager as ingenuine. Uh, we expect that he will allude to this even further in, uh, 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 as he will uh, deliver sentencing later. But as Advocate uh, Mulefe has alluded, tomorrow uh, um, they will also present arguments in aggravation and mitigation of sentencing. Back to you in studio. Uh, Nicolene, just before you disappear, um, this was a case that uh, really stirred up emotion uh, in that part of uh, the country. Uh, I wonder, was there any reaction in court once the uh, judge had said guilty of murder? Very little, actually. Uh, Matla Mola's parents were, were present in court today. His mother became very emotional this morning and had to leave at one stage um, uh, as Judge Hendricks summarized the testimony that Bona Kele Pakisi had heard the dying teenager screaming for help, calling out to his mother. Uh, but the only reaction we could hear with a gu guilty verdict later this afternoon was a crowd of EFF supporters uh, clapping their hands. But apart from that, proceedings were actually relatively calm. All right, Nicolene, thanks very much indeed uh, for joining us and uh, giving us up that update. Okay, so the uh, Kalini pair uh, found guilty of uh, murder and uh, sentencing uh, will happen in the very near future and we'll keep you up to date with that story as the program continues.